In the Middle East, there is one country that defies convention. Turkey is a land of contrasts, where the wildlife faces extreme challenges. Mountains and altitude, climatic changes, and hostile coastlines all play their part. Tectonic plates collide here, making Turkey an earthquake hotspot. This crossroads of continents has wild migrant visitors. And returning prehistoric nomads. Somehow, in these less than hospitable habitats, Turkey's wildlife battles the odds and is able to survive. Turkey's flora and fauna live life on the edge, bridging the gap between Europe and the Middle East. It's a country of extreme habitats, with two major mountain ranges and a high central plateau. More than 80% of this country is rough, broken, and mountainous. It is so biologically diverse it can be compared to a small continent. Altitude and climate dominate life for many here. Mountain peaks rise to over 5,000 meters. They buffer the coast and bring freezing winters and scorching summers. But it's the primordial forces that have shaped this land. Straddling two major fault lines, Turkey is one of the world's most seismically active regions. Volcanoes and earthquakes have left a trail of destruction. But even here, wildlife explodes. Within these extraordinary ecosystems and habitats, wildlife has found a way to overcome the odds. Living life on the edge. Turkey is in the grip of winter. Water vapor falls as delicate snow, turning much of the country into a white wonderland. From the hot summer temperatures of 45 degrees Celsius, it's now dropped to minus 12. With nearly 130 mountain peaks, much of the east is impassable from December to April. Across the country, rolling steppe terrain is blanketed. For Anatolian Mouflon, Surviving here brings huge challenges. Shelter is scarce on these grasslands, but food is even harder to find. These hardy grazers are endemic to Turkey, and although the ancestors have domesticated sheep, they don't have the benefit of farm buildings or shelter out here. Living at over 1,000 meters, their lives are governed by the elements. 
Survival depends on reacting to seasonal changes. And also potential threats. Plant tubers are the most that they can find in the frozen ground. Mouflon sensors are well developed. They rely on detecting the enemy early. But the grey wolf knows his quarry. Stalking downwind of the flock, timing is everything. can reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. The flock needs to keep close and keep moving. With his target singled out, he strikes. Through Turkey's tough winter months, surviving life on the edge is a case of taking it day by day. Spring transforms Turkey. Life flows once again, and the challenges of winter melt away. Clinging to the edge of their rocky escarpment, Turkey's alpine forests are exceptional for biodiversity. Covering an area nearly 10 times the size of New York City, they provide not only protection, but food for Turkey's wildlife. This is bear country. The largest land mammal in Turkey is led by its nose or, more precisely, its stomach. Hibernating through the tough times, brown bears go without eating and drinking for six months. Females even give birth during their winter slumber and can lose up to 40% of their body weight. Whilst living life on the edge of these mountains, the climate takes no prisoners. But that's not going to stop this young male. Two layers of fur are essential to protect him from the elements. The thick upper layer acts like a waterproof. Longer and coarser, it clumps together, repelling a heavy downpour. Males roam up to 2,000 square kilometers. Searching for food, they spend much of their time alone. If they come across another, displaying dominance is crucial, especially when they've woken up hungry.
size matters here and comes in handy when someone is stood between you and your food. Weighing several hundred kilos, climbing trees is no easy task. But paws the size of dinner plates and claws the length of human fingers help him hoist his way up. Up here, he can feast on the fruits of his labor, uninterrupted. Although getting down may be a tricky affair. Alpine forests give way to open grasslands. Wild boar come to forage after a lazy day. Seemingly barren landscapes and inhospitable cliff faces shape Turkey's mountains. Others find themselves on an uneven footing. Steep rocky slopes are unstable, but bears wander far and wide. Driving rain makes it even more dangerous. This female must feed, but caution is critical. One of her greatest threats is, in fact, male brown bears. Males can pursue females for days, even weeks as they look to try to mate with them. But this may not be a coy act. Males are unpredictable and have been known to kill newborn cubs to ensure they sire their own. As he gets closer, she is put under pressure. The saturated slopes don't help her precarious situation in this game of cat and mouse. Reaching the forest edge, she makes a break for it. Mountain streams turn into dramatic waterfalls. As they carve their way through the landscape. Rivers have shaped steep gorges where trees seem to defy gravity. Cliff faces present death-defying challenges for wildlife. Good footwear is essential for any climber in this environment. And there is one extreme mountaineer here. Turkey's Anatolian wild goat is completely at home living on the edge. Accessing areas other grazers can't means that they feast on new spring shoots. These rock faces may seem a perfect sanctuary for the family, but the risks are real. One slip would see these agile goats fall over 200 meters to their death. Like their parents, 
Juveniles have a boundless confidence in their clifftop playground. The secret to surviving here comes down to their specialist tools. Like rock climbers, they constantly search for footholds. Rectangular pupils allow them to see nearly 360 degrees and spot the best route. Two spreadable hooves give them good purchase on tiny ledges. And a leathery sole acts like a suction cup, sticking to the rock. Nimble and dainty footsteps help them scale Turkey's mountains. But as they roam, they must keep watch for other dangers. They constantly scan the surroundings for signs of a predator. Their sense of smell and hearing are good, but here, constant wind interferes. most reliable sense. Lynx patrol these cliff tops. At the slightest sign of trouble, the climbing skills kick in and they flee for safety. Living life on the edge also brings a battle against the climate. Arid, rolling steppe terrain covers much of the central Anatolian plateau. Turkey's heartland is surrounded by the Pontic Mountains to the north and the Taurus Mountains to the south and reaches over 1,000 meters. Wildlife endures freezing winters, hot summers, and little rainfall. As days get hotter, mouflons shed their dense winter coats. The steppe will soon become too hot for their boundless play. Feeding in the cooler early morning is wise here. But for others, it's the heat that gets them moving. Yeah. A spur-thighed tortoise begins to wake and has only one thing on its mind. He's looking for a mate. His thick shell serves not only to protect, but also to absorb warmth from the sun. He spies a female, and the chase begins. If a little slower than most. When a shell covers the majority of your body, physical contact can be tricky. He tries a forceful approach.
Finally, after much persuasive knocking, he wins her over. One successful mating is all that's needed to produce multiple clutches of eggs. But it's hard to find privacy on the step. Using their specialized antennae, dung beetles catch a whiff from the air. Finding fresh dung the tortoises have left behind is like hitting the jackpot. But if it's sat around for too long, the nutritious liquids may dry out. He's quick to take ownership of the steaming gold. But he's not the only one to have found it. Having won the fight, he takes on the next battle. Able to move dung weighing up to 50 times their own weight, strong front legs and spurs on his back legs help him get the ball rolling. But it's not easy when you're only a couple of centimeters long and can't see where you're going. The mountain-like rock presents his next test. A tough exoskeleton means he can take the easy route down. Speed wins in this environment. He must hurry to get it out of the sun and avoid it drying out. Finding a moist patch on the arid steppe, he buries his bounty to feast on later. In Turkey, it's not just wildlife that lives on the edge. The Anatolian Plateau is a challenging environment. After months of freezing snow, shepherds are now able to drive their flocks to the steppe for grazing. The Middle East was one of the first places sheep were domesticated. But unlike their wild cousins, the mouflon, they need guardians. During the day, the shepherd is able to guide them to new pastures and watch over them. But come night, they're at the mercy of the wilderness. Sheep are easy prey, so a special relationship has been forged. These ancient relatives of the wolf now defend them. Anatolian shepherd dogs are bred to protect livestock from wolves and bears. Raised with the herd, they instinctively bond with the sheep. They're inconspicuous and blend into the flock. As the sun begins to dip, 
their instincts kick in. These dogs are the frontline defense against attack. They're sensitive to changes in normal herd behavior and begin to call out, warning predators who may be out there. Spiked collars called tots are their only physical armor, but a formidable strength, speed, and protective nature are also part of their arsenal. Heightened sensors can detect danger before any human would. The pack patrol, armed and ready, smelling the air for any whiff of trouble. Night brings more dangers. But man and beast work together on the edge of civilization. Turkey is a country on the edge. Giant tectonic plates squeeze this land and have created volcanoes. Fault lines tear through the country, and the primordial world still lies simmering. Volcanoes have shaped the natural world, and none more so than in Cappadocia. Regular eruptions by three volcanoes, 65 million years ago, deposited volcanic ash, lava, and basalt, laying its foundations. Stratified lines depict these different volcanic eruptions. Earthquakes and the ongoing effects of erosion have formed valleys and mysterious pillars of rock, known as fairy chimneys. Constructed from tufa, and volcanic ash. These cones are protected by a cap of hard, more resistant basalt rock. Water and sand erosion has even created caves that wild pigeons colonize and swallows saw past. The volcanic landscape has further reaching benefits for Turkey's wildlife. Under the cloud-piercing peak of Mount Erges lies Sultan Saslik Wetland. The largest volcano in central Anatolia has helped shape one of the most important wetlands in the Mediterranean basin. Despite being several hundred kilometers from the coast, Lake Ye's waters are salty. Minerals from the volcanic landscape are built up, creating the perfect feeding ground for greater flamingos. They exploit habitats that other birds can't tolerate. Filter feeding with upside down bills. They're like sieving machines, stirring up sediment and pumping through nutrient rich water. Collecting tiny crustaceans and algae that gives them their pink plumage. Long stick-like legs 
allow them to wade deeper. But living at high altitude and on the edge of a volcano means the weather can be hostile. With winds picking up, it makes feeding harder. Taking flight to calmer waters is one way to avoid the perils of living in this extreme environment. Keeping your head close to the ground is another. The Anatolian ground squirrel is a nervous forager. Aerial predators are never too far away. But he still has to venture out in search of food. With limited cover, cautious sprints are the best foot forward. His strong, straight claws are used to dig his network of burrows and extract the succulent base of grasses, stripping the non-nutrious sheath with his teeth to reveal his prize. Endless munching brings serious wear and tear. Like his speedy nature, his teeth keep pace, growing as much as half a millimetre a day. Alarm calls communicate to others of any danger, but whilst he forages alone, he must increase his vigilance. A fast and effective killer, a marsh harrier glides to avoid attention, surveying the wetlands and grassy banks for any fast food. This nervous forager is never far from an escape tunnel. The marsh harrier isn't after ground squirrel today. A rotting carcass is like a dinner gong, and they will scavenge when needed. But Egyptian vultures have already begun the main course. Relying purely on vision rather than smell to find food, this flat landscape is ideal for vultures, sawing and scouting on the late morning thermals. The mosaic of habitats form a rich wetland ecosystem that relies on a good supply of water from the surrounding mountains. Further south, the Taurus Mountains buffer the coast and provide an ideal home for some of Turkey's smallest creatures. Alpine meadows thrive here and attract swarms of helicopter-like foragers. For honeybees, it's a time to get busy in their quest to restock the hive. Pollen provides much needed protein for developing larvae, whilst the sugary nectar contains minerals, glucose, and helps make honey for the winter months. But demand is high. The colony needs up to 120 kilograms of nectar each year to survive. 
the equivalent of 60 bags of sugar. Not hibernating like other bees in the winter means they must stock the larder or the colony may not survive. Though it's not just food these bees are after, mountain streams provide much needed water. In the heat of summer, it's used for cooling in the hive, spread in a thin film on broods of cells containing larvae and eggs. Swallowing the water, the foragers store it in their crops before flying home. Like a well-trained air force, they coordinate movements. The number of bees depends on the needs of the colony. Soon enough, a full aerial assault is underway. Mountain streams become meandering lowland channels as they reach Turkey's edge. A maze of wetland waterways forms one of Turkey's most important environments, the Dalyan Delta. But this tranquil world hides forgotten and eerie corners where monsters lurk. Cracks in the ground release sulfurous hot water springs, which feed the dead arm of the river. A Nile soft-shell turtle emerges from his aquatic world. Found also in the River Nile, their largest population is here in Turkey. They lead a secretive life below, as they don't need to just inhale air to breathe. 70% of their submerged oxygen is absorbed through their skin. They even take oxygen from water pumped into their mouth, like gills would on a fish, so can spend up to 15 hours below the surface. Yet, undisturbed in this wilderness, they rise to display their most intimate activities. Spring is a time for many animals to mate. But for the Nile soft-shell turtle, it's easier said than done. Big, fast and armed, they have an aggressive temperament. There is also competition. Two males battle for mating rights. Webbed feet are used like paddles as they try to bat each other away. After an hour of corralling, the victor claims his prize.
with only 500 of these secretive creatures believed to exist in the Mediterranean. Their act may be more vital than they know. Even in tranquil waters, creatures live life on the edge of survival. The slow flowing river deposits sediment from upstream and has built mud flats where reeds now grow. Over centuries, a labyrinth has been created, forming the Dalian Delta. Covering an area of 1,700 hectares, it's nature's water filter and land builder. Today, it's a rich ecosystem for many creatures. But this coastline once witnessed the collapse of a civilization. With almost 3,000 years of history, these ruins mark the ancient city of Kaunos. Once a seaport of strategic importance, it was a stronghold for six different empires. Archaeological remains have revealed the prosperity of the city as a great trading power. Yet, the ancient seaport of Kaunos is now located nearly eight kilometers from the coast. Silting at the delta and the ports spelt the end for this epicenter of trade. As the delta grew, the waters slowed further and mosquito numbers increased. By the 15th century, the malaria epidemic wiped out all hope of regeneration, and Kaunos was abandoned. But where man has fled, nature reclaims. Olive trees have taken root in the ruins of this ancient civilization. The perfect habitat for a dwarf snake to lurk. Waiting in the wings of this crumbling theater, he hunts. However, there is one performer here who likes to take center stage. The star da Gama basks in the morning sun. For him, it's all about being seen. Relying on the sun's rays to warm his cold-blooded body, this crumbling theater is just like the rocky terrain he prefers. Ancient seating provides his stage on which to perform. Being highly territorial, males display on rocks to proclaim their dominance. With females watching and other males wanting center stage, he needs to flex his muscles by doing press-ups. To see off his competition, the only way is up, to claim the highest spot. Traversing the arena, he stakes his claim with a ritualistic head bobbing. The higher he gets, the more determined he becomes, seeing off the competition. Top of the rock, 
and head bobbing his victory. His daily battle is won. In a country where extreme climate reigns, the earth moves and inaccessible mountains march. Everyday survival for the natural world comes down to winning daily battles. Lying on the edge of the Middle East, Turkey's shores are on the migration map for many creatures. Something the ghost crab relies on. So cold because of their ability to blend into the sandy beaches. They spend most of their time spring cleaning and digging their burrows. Living here is a constant battle against the tide. Able to see 360 degrees, he can remain vigilant whilst on the go. But even for a busy home improver, the sun is strong and it pays to head below until later in the day. As the sun sets, Ancient nomads arrive. The loggerhead turtle has changed little in over 95 million years. Like prehistoric landing craft, female loggerheads return in a cycle of two to three years. Turkey's beaches are a hotspot for these sea nomads, who create thousands of nests each year. The last few yards are always the toughest, but choosing a site where the tidal waves will not affect the nest is critical. They're sensitive to their environment, and only one out of three emergencies from the sea ends up with a successful egg laying. Having incubated for about the last two months, the youngsters emerge. For this generation of loggerheads, their first battle begins from the moment they surface. With so many nests, and each containing around 100 eggs, chances of survival are increased. But as night descends, so do their predators. Using reflection from the sea, they make their crawl for freedom. This is what the ghost crabs have been waiting for. A lucky wave saves him. Yet his battle for survival has only just begun, whilst living life on the edge. In a country where mountains and altitude dominate, where primordial forces still influence,
climate dictates the pace of life. How anything survives may be difficult to understand. But lying on the edge of the Middle East, this is a country that defies convention. Turkey is a mecca for migration. It's a land where ancient creatures return and apex predators roam. Hostile and remote, these habitats cannot be tamed. Yet, it is this inaccessibility that may actually be a sanctuary for Turkey's wildlife. To survive as a species means you have to live life on the edge.